Okay, I have good news and bad news. Let's start with good news. Good news is um, I found the reason why a lot of things were broken yesterday. So these two lines were missing. So this loop was extracting parameters. Last parameter was never uh, been extracted. For example, then it was setting cursor. So there is X and Y position and one of values were missing and a lot of things were broken. Surprisingly, a, a lot of things were working. So uh, now I can show you. So I can open vi main.cpp and I can start typing include io stream and then I can move cursor. So this way, uh, this way, and uh, I can move up and down now, so uh, forward and backward. A lot of things are working in VI. So VI is uh, kind of working. Emacs is a little bit uh, different story. It's still kind of broken. Emacs main.cpp. Emacs is not fully functional, uh, but at least I can move. I cannot move cursor. <laughs> yeah, so uh, control nine is not implemented. I think this is the reason. Anyways, so Emacs is not functional, but at least like a VI is uh, doing things. And bad news is uh, this thing is very blinky. And the reason is uh, I implemented colors and uh, before I implemented colors, I was outputting the whole line. So it was like a one call uh, from VM to uh, host machine. And now I'm doing every single call for each character so I can do the colors and uh, it's, it is expensive. I need to uh, find a way how to do it cheaper. So uh, one of the ideas is update only things what changed and probably I should do it this way. It's a little bit more complicated instead of uh, redrawing the whole screen. And in this case, I can stay and um, implement a everything in VM. So and I think probably I should do this thing for, for performance sake and I just like um, it's a right way to do, I guess. I do not know is it right way to do or not because like a mo modern times we just started drawing again and again everything. I guess it's a right thing, right? Like why I have to waste CPU resources and stuff if I can avoid it. Yeah, probably I'll uh, do this thing. And there is uh, in our possibility it's um, uh, implemented on the natively instead of uh, in VM. Um, so yeah, now it's blinking like crazy. Anyways, this is um, because it's um, holidays are ended. I did not have too much time. I probably spent two hours try to debug things. So good news, VI is uh, working, colors are uh, working and uh, we actually can um, write the program, right? But uh, we need to figure out what to do with this uh, blinking. Um, and yeah, and there is a bunch of calls to um, implement. So I implemented colors and fixed this bug. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.